Hello everyone! We just rolled into March which means we have some new characters that are up on the shop to use your star glitter on so let's get right into it on who you should choose, Ningguang or Xingxiu. If you have been keeping up with the current meta, you know that these two are extremely good characters. Ningguang is a main DPS Geo Catalyst, while Xingxiu is a sub DPS Hydra Sword. So you're going to be using them for different roles. The thing is, you should only get Ningguang for either of the two reasons that I'm going to state right now. 1. If you really really need a main DPS, so you don't have Deluc, Ganyu, Klee, Tartaglia, Shao, Kashin, Razor, and maybe a few more that I might have forgotten to mention. The reason is, there's so much better DPS characters that resonate well with elements, so you can do Vaporize, you can do Melt. However, Ningguang is going to be Geo, so it's difficult to resonate with her elements overall. In addition, Notice that the majority of the characters that I stated were 5 star characters, and this is because their base stats overall are just much better than Ningguang's and will overall just do more damage in the long run. The second reason is if you already have a Ningguang, it will obtain the C1 Ningguang or a C6 Ningguang. The reason for this is because C1 Ningguang will help partially in dealing AoE damage to enemies which will help in mobs in general. However, C6 Ningguang is a major boost in her kit as it increases her DPS significantly, her burst will give you 7 star jades for your next charge attack, and her burst comes out extremely quickly with a low cost of 40 energy. She's a good DPS, but there's still better ones out there and in the late game, I actually believe Xingqiu is going to be more important. Here's some footage of me doing the peak of Vindigan. I have no idea how to say this. On the left will be Deluxe Solo, and on the right is Deluxe and Xingqiu. If you look at the left, I do damage ranging from 2.5k all the way up to 6.9k from my skills. On the right, I do similar amount, but it can range all the way up to 15k due to Vaporize, and Xingqiu does extra damage with his burst, and you can see just having Xingqiu as a support had me finish the domain 42 seconds faster than if I did Deluxe Solo. However, I'm still not utilizing Xingqiu to his fullest abilities. I don't even have the best artifacts as you can see from his stats, and even though I had his talents up a good amount, this is still only a C1 Xingqiu we are talking about. He's going to be crucial as a support for your main DPS teams if you have pyro characters for that vaporized damage that you saw with Deluke, and definitely with Klee and Hu Tao in the future. Also crucial for freeze composition teams such as Ganyu to get the extra crit rates. It will also be amazing on Child as C2 Xingqiu gives reduced water resistance. In comparison to Ningguang, Xingqiu gets significantly stronger for each constellation which shows why he's an S tier support character. C1 you get an extra sword for his burst, C2 is a longer duration and decreased hydro resistance, C4 is longer duration and more damage in your skills and burst, C6 is even more damage and some significant energy recharge boosts as well. I don't know if you noticed but my opinion of who you should get for the Satella fortune is Xingqiu. This doesn't mean that Ningguang is bad, but she's just much harder to create a team with in comparison to Xingqiu who is amazing in almost every team he is placed in. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Leave a comment down below on who you're all going to be purchasing with your star glitter. And before we go, I want to say happy birthday to our wonderful voice actor for Wutao, Rie Takahashi, as her birthday was on February 27th on Saturday. Make sure to watch the anime she voiced the characters in. And happy birthday to Bokan Bennett, as his birthday was on Sunday the 28th, sort of. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.